What's going on, everybody? This is your boy Rico with the K, and you are watching hashtag Burst TV. Please share, comment, subscribe, and share again. 178. Hello, Hashtag Verse TV family, and welcome. It's week 178, and this is Hashtag All the Tea. I'm Aaron Mack. And this is Basic Complex Today, a.k.a. Kevin. Here with good friend, the talented rapper, producer, dancer, model, and co-star of Chasing Realities, Chasing Atlanta, Rico with a K. Rico with a K, please say hi to our hashtag Verse TV family. What's going on, everybody? How y'all doing? That was a great introduction, by the way. I loved it. <laughs> Absolutely, friend. Well, you're worth it. You're worth it. Excellent. And we appreciate that. Our first question for those who may not yet know, where are you from? And what do you love most about your residence journey thus far? Um, I'm originally from Miami, Florida, but I was raised in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Um, and my residence journey so far, um, I don't know, I've just, I've traveled a lot of, or I've lived in a lot of places and I've seen just like a different, you know, type of person or people in each one. And I've just learned and it's just helped me be the man that I am today, basically, you know, so. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Now, your highly anticipated Top Talk album's second single is Swallow with Seven Deep. And it officially releases Friday, October 7th. Please give our hashtag Verse TV family a sip of all the tea on the development process and the meaning behind this song, as well as the video that you have, the accompanying music video that you have for this done with Pop Up Productions. This jam. Okay, wow. That was a lot. Okay. Uh, the... The creative process, well, it actually started a year ago. Um, I was in Chicago doing a fashion show for Mr. Blake Martin, which I love. He is a wonderful photographer. He puts on beautiful fashion shows, elegant, like it's just amazing. Um, but yeah, I was in a car with Brandon after one of our performances and we just were going through beats. And Brandon, he's a singer, he's a rapper based in Chicago. I love him. He is wonderful he's also a songwriter um but we were in the car listening to beats and this one beat in particular um you know we were talking about some swallowing kids and we just like we definitely love that one so we just stuck with it um and i ended up leaving chicago um and i just i shelved it i left the song alone i, I just felt like Nah, I don't need to do this r b thing let me focus on this you know hip-hop let me rap rap because i know that's what they want but um, actually listening to Swallow again a year later, um, and I was more comfortable with my sexuality. Like now I can talk about like what I like and what I don't like. Like I used to be really scared because I didn't want people to judge me or everybody have their, you know, preconceived notions of what I am, you know. So I didn't want to disappoint. But now I'm older, I'm wiser, I don't give a fuck. Uh, can I curse? We can? Okay. I don't give a fuck. Um, so I just, I was able to sit down and write my verse after having a conversation with Blake Martin. Um, and yeah, this song just, I loved it so much, right? And I was just like, it's missing something. Something is missing. And coincidentally, me and Seven had to headline a show in Seattle, Washington, for uh, Black Seattle Pride. Oh my God, love them. Um, 
And the first night I seen him, he was like, Rico, you know, what you working on? Like, we were just catching up. We haven't seen each other in a while. And I played Swallow. And him listening to it, I just, I heard his voice on it. Like, I was just like, I, seven, like, oh, but I didn't want to press the issue. You know, I didn't want to seem like a super fan. I didn't want to seem, you know, all crazy and shit like that. So I just, I left it alone. But that night we hung out, um, like we got pretty drunk. We had a great time and, you know, I just brought it up. Like, I was just like, yo, I hear your voice on Swallow. Please get on Swallow. And he was like, send me the beat. So I did. And he's just incredible. Oh my God. When you hear this verse, it's going to be like, whoa. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's amazing. Oh, I love that man. Um, artistically. But yeah. So the video, that's not the official video. Mm. Okay. The official video is going to be nasty. It's... Is <laughs> this this is the tea that you want? The official video is gonna be nasty. But that was not the video. Actually, a year ago, um Seven wanted me to be like his leading man. Um in a in a song that he was doing in a video he was doing. So I just used that footage for the song to, you know, help create buzz. But the original song is by Soul. Um, it's called Fuck Boy featuring Seven Deep. That video is still amazing. I just wanted to throw that out there and give credit where credit is due because I'm not that type of dude. Um, so the official video is going to be nasty. Oh, all right. I'm uh, looking forward to that. Friend. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Now, your actual lead single from Top Talk is Cocky with your Chasing Atlantic. Hey, hey, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, with your Chasing Atlanta co-star Lil Kendra. Now, please give our hashtag Verse TV family a sip of all the tea on the development of this song and the meaning behind "Cocky." Um, so "Cocky" actually started. We were filming Chasing Atlanta, season four. This is when I had just first met Kendra. And I needed a studio, so she hooked me up with her people. Um, and she came to the studio session, and that's what I loved about her. Like, she was very supportive. This camera's won't even around. You feel what I'm saying? Like, she's a real, you know, woman. That's why I love her. Um, so, yeah, like, I was originally recording the song, and I just heard her freestyling to it. And it was just like, damn, like, damn, she sound hot as fuck on it, like. You know, Kendra, like this would be her moment. Like, you know, you feel what I'm saying? Like, let me, let me, like, let me get Kendra on this song. So maybe like six months later, I hit her up and I, I was just like, yo, I want you on cocky. And she was like, Rico, send me the beat. Let's do it. And she sent me back fire. Fire. Um, so I was in the studio, she came. And when she recorded her verse, I think I have a video of it. Oh my God, I'm going to post it whenever the album comes out. Um, but she just, she came in there and she ripped it. You know, she really owned that song. And I'm very grateful for a feature with her um, because that was, that's one of my favorite features. Actually, all of these features on, on my upcoming um, album, Top Talk, it is, they're all my, fa these are my favorite people. I love them on, you know, personal levels. It's not just like, Oh, I think you're high. Get on the song. Like, no, I actually have musical relationships with these people, personal relationships with these people to where we could make great music. I'm ranting. Nice. And now, speaking of Top Talk, 